what is up youtube back in madden 23 if you like madden 23 rebuilds then you came to the right place go ahead and subscribe to the channel hit the like button make some suggestions down below in the comments of other types of rebuilds that you would like to see if i pick your comment then i'll feature it in the video that i make about it today we will be seeing what it's like if aaron Rodgers decides to go to the raiders so we'll be trading away Derek carr and then having to trade for aaron Rodgers. i don't know how it's gonna happen we're gonna figure it out on the fly Checking out the season stats, the Raiders had the 11th ranked offense this season, which is actually pretty good. They focused on the run game heavily and then the 28th ranked defense, so defense is definitely going to need some work. Derek Carr threw for 3,500 yards, 24 touchdowns, 14 interceptions, 60% completion, only 86 rating, that's pretty bad. Stidham, 656 yards, 4 touchdowns, 3 interceptions, 63% completion, 89 rating, still pretty bad. Josh Jacobs definitely had a breakout season. He had 340 carries, 1,600 yards, 4.9 per carry with 12 rushing touchdowns. Receiving-wise, Devontae Adams had 100 catches for 1,500 yards and 14 touchdowns. Mack Holland, 690 yards, 4 touchdowns. Foster Moreau, 400 yards, 2 touchdowns. Josh Jacobs had 53 catches for 400 yards, 0 touchdowns. Darren Waller only played in 8 games, had 388 yards with 3 touchdowns. Hunter Renfro only played in 10 games, 330 yards, 2 touchdowns. Defensively, Max Crosby led the team in tackles with 88, and he had the most TFLs with 23, and he led the team in sacks with 12 and a half. So it's safe to say that Max Crosby is the best player on this defense by far. Chandler Jones only had 4 and a half sacks, and then Cleveland Farrell had 2. There was only 3 players on this team that had interceptions, and each one of them had 2. It was Denzel Perryman, Omic Robertson, and Deron Harmon. Simulated to the offseason and the Eagles ended up beating the Jaguars in the Super Bowl 42-21 to to win their second Super Bowl and Miles Sanders won Super Bowl MVP. Patrick Mahomes won MVP of the regular season with the Chiefs. Nick Sirianni won Coach of the Year with the Eagles. Devontae Adams won Offensive Player of the Year with our Raiders. And Nick Bosa won Defensive Player of the Year with the 49ers. Kenneth Walker won Offensive Rookie of the Year with the Seahawks. Jalen Petrie won Defensive Rookie of the Year with the Texans. We have 76 million in cap space. I would definitely want to bring Josh Jacobs back. He just led the NFL in rushing yards. He's 25 years old, 94 overall scheme fit with superstar Deb. He wants a five year deal for almost 51 mil. He has a lot of interest in coming back, so I'm gonna offer him this deal. He wants a test free agency. What the heck? I thought you wanted to come back, man. 16 million to franchise tag. I think we're gonna do it. Denzel Perryman, not interested in bringing him back. Rocky Hassan, he wants a two-year deal for 10.3 mil. 27 years old, cornerback, 78 overall scheme fit, star dev. I'll go ahead and offer that to him. He's coming back. Moving on from Harmon, he's already 32 years old. And he's down to a 75 overall with normal dev. Anthony Averett, probably moving on from him. We need to start getting younger guys in here. Out with the old and with the new. I don't think I'm going to bring back any of these other guys except for one offensive lineman right here. Try to bring him back. He wants a one-year deal for 3.8 mil. Bump him up to a two-year deal and raise it up a little bit since he doesn't have any interest in coming back. Yeah, he still wants to go to a new team. All right. Well, Madden has really lowered Derek Carr's overall and his depth trait is at normal. I think he had star depth before and he was probably like an 81 overall. So that means that his trade value has gone way down. So we're gonna put him up here on the block and see, we're gonna get offers, see what happens. And we're getting basically no offers for him worth of crap. Bailey Zappi from the Patriots. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we're gonna try to get a draft pick or something. I'm gonna keep looking around. I was able to trade him to the Atlanta Falcons for a second round pick. I tried to get a first round pick, but it just wouldn't happen. Still here in the offseason, right after trading Derek Carr, I tried to trade a first round pick for Aaron Rodgers and it's saying that the Packers can't afford the salary. I don't make any sense because we're taking the money away from them to give them to us. So I don't know, I guess we're gonna have to wait till the beginning of the season because I've seen this type of stuff happen before. Doesn't make any sense. This is what the team is looking like before free agency. Definitely need to work on the offensive line like hardcore. This offensive line is not great at all. I think we're pretty good at receiver and tight end. I mean, we could use a third receiver for sure. Running back is set. Defensively, we need a whole defensive line. We need some middle linebackers. I think I'm going to try to develop Divine Diablo as, as much as I can at the same time. And we need a safety. Changing the offensive scheme up, we're going with the West Coast power run because that's the highest percentage scheme fit that we have right now. And then we're going to try to get free agents and draft players that fit that scheme. 
And we're going with the Kansas City playbook since that's a West Coast power run. Defensively, I'm keeping the same uh, default defense for the Raiders. This is the Skies 3-4, the Raiders playbook. I'm going to go one season and see how that goes. Got some decent players in free agency. I'm bringing in middle linebacker TJ Edwards. He's an 84 overall star dev, 27 years old. Adrian Amos at strong safety, 84 overall star dev, 30 years old. Tan still at right tackle. He's a 79 uh, scheme fit. Normal dev, 26 years old. Tar at defensive tackle, 78 overall, 26 years old, scheme fit with normal dev. And then Will Hernandez at right guard, trying to build up the offensive line a little bit. We do still have 38 million available in cap space, but we got to make sure that we save some money for Aaron Rodgers' contract whenever we trade for him, so I'm not going to spend any more. Here in the draft, first round, we have pick number seven. I did try to trade for Aaron Rodgers again right before the draft started and right now as the draft is going, but it keeps saying the same thing about the salary cap. So I'm gonna have to wait till the beginning of next season. But I'm gonna draft this defensive end, Miles Murphy from Clemson. 6'5", 275 pounds, power rusher, scheme fit. 21 years old, he has elite acceleration, good agility, good change of direction, great jumping, great speed, solid strength. Hit and dead with 84 speed, nice. Here in the second round, I'm gonna draft this defensive tackle, Mozzie Smith from Michigan. 6'2", 337 pounds, run stop and scheme fit. We need help on the defensive line. 21 years old, he has good acceleration, good agility, good change of direction, elite jumping with good speed and great strength. Hit and dead with 92 strength. We have another second round pick here since we traded away Derek Carr and I'm going to draft this cornerback Emmanuel Forbes from Mississippi State. He's 6 foot, 180 pounds, man to man, scheme fit. We could definitely use a third corner. He's 21 years old, good acceleration, good agility, good speed, solid and everything else. Normal dev with 92 speed. Here in the third round, we need a third receiver so I'm going to draft this wide receiver Xavier Hutchinson from Iowa State. He's 6'3", 210 pounds, deep threat. Only got him 50% scouted, 22 years old, solid acceleration, solid change of direction, good jumping, solid speed, and good strength. Hidden dev with 90 speed. Fourth round, I'm going to draft this left tackle, Jackson Kirkland from Washington. He's 6'7", 310 pounds. He's a power scheme fit. He is a little older. He's 24 years old. Good acceleration, good change of direction with solid speed and strength. No more dev with 86 strength. Checking out the draft recap, the first round pick, Miles Murphy, 76 overall. That's great to see. He's 21 years old. He has hidden dev. He has 77 power moves, 70 finesse moves, 84 speed, 89 acceleration with 82 tackle. He's going to be replacing Chandler Jones, most likely. Mozzie Smith, a second round defensive tackle, 71 overall. We saw that he has hidden dev. 21 years old, 330 pounds, so he's a true nose tackle in this 3 4 defense. And then the other second round pick, Emmanuel Forbes, 74 overall. He only had normal dev, but he's going to be starting right away for us in the slot. Needed a third corner. Xavier Hutchinson, 70 overall. He has hidden dev as well. He should be developing nicely for us eventually. Rest of the guys, they're all like in the mid to upper 60s. Check out the entire NFL draft recap. Number one pick was Tyree Wilson that went to the Bears, 74 overall. The hit. Bryce Young went to the Texans, 76 overall. CJ Stroud. I don't know why the Cardinals, like a lot of the rebuilds I've been doing recently, the Cardinals have been drafting a quarterback in the first round. It don't make any sense. But whatever. Jalen Carter, 79 overall. Highest in the entire draft went to the Seahawks. Here at the beginning of the next season, I'm finally able to get Aaron Rodgers. They want my first round pick and seventh round pick, so I'm definitely going to do that. This is what the starting lineup is looking like for the first season with Aaron Rodgers at quarterback. He's an 86 overall superstar dev, scheme fit in the offense, 39 years old. He has 90 throw power, 84 deep accuracy, 88 medium accuracy, 91 short with 88 awareness. So that's 80 speed for someone that's 39 years old at quarterback. That's pretty good. Josh Jacobs running back, 95 overall superstar dev. White's going to be backing him up. We got Adams at wide receiver, 97 overall X-Factor. I'm curious to see what Rodgers and Adams can do back together here in Las Vegas. Hutchinson, wide receiver, rookie, can be our third stringer in the slot. Renfro's 81 overall star dev. We upgraded the offensive line a little bit on the right side with Steele and Hernandez. So we got weakness here at center and left guard. But Colton Miller is 86 overall star dev at left tackle. And then Darren Waller is one of the best pass receiving tight ends in the NFL. 85 overall superstar dev. 
Defensively, we brought in Edwards at middle linebacker. Devon Diablo is going to be our other middle linebacker. Still got Crosby, 96 X Factor. And then Chandler Jones, I was debating on uh, getting rid of him, but I'm just going to keep him for this year. We're just going to let Miles Murphy play defensive end down here. Got Mo Rig, I moved him to free safety so Amos can stay at strong safety. Mo Rig's a little bit faster, so that's why I decided to do that. Then we got Hobbs and Rocky Hassan at cornerbacks. And then Forbes, the rookie, is going to be playing for us in the slot. Mozzie Smith starting for us at defensive tackle. And I moved Tart to defensive end. The midseason point, we're actually off to a pretty great start. We're 5-1, and one, leading the division. The Broncos and the Chargers are both 3-4, and four, and the Chiefs are 2-5. and five. See what players we have to negotiate with. We have $45 million in cap space. Josh Jacobs. Oh, yeah, I had a franchise tag on right? I was like, didn't we just re-sign him? No, we had a franchise tag on all right, let's try to bring him back. Five years, 53 mil. Now he wants to come back because we got Aaron Rodgers, right? The rest of these guys, I'm going to wait till the end of the year on them. End of the regular season, we finished 12-5 and five and won the division. The Chargers went 12-5, and five, the Broncos went 9-8, and eight, and the Chiefs went 6-11, and 11, so I don't know what happened to the Chiefs. Checking out the players' stats over here. We had the fourth-ranked offense. Freaking awesome. So what do you expect when you got Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams? 25th on defense, so that's not good. Aaron Rodgers threw for 4,400 yards, 37 touchdowns, 12 interceptions, 67% completion with the 107 rating. Great year by him. Josh Jacobs, dang, 1,600 yards, 6.1 per carry, 16 rushing touchdowns. Awesome. Devontae Adams had 1,100 yards, 13 touchdowns. Darren Waller, 1,000 yards, 5 touchdowns. Hunter Renfro, 891 yards, 8 touchdowns. Josh Jacobs had almost 600 yards with five or 4 touchdowns, my bad. Defensively, Devon Diablo led the team in tackles with 141. TJ Edwards right behind him with 132. Max Crosby had 11 tackles for loss. And he had 16 sacks. Miles Murphy, the rookie, 7.5 sacks. Awesome. Chandler Jones, 6 sacks. Nate Hobbs, 4 interceptions. Diablo, 3. Edwards had 2. Amos, Rocky Sin. Mo Rig and Robertson all have one interception. Gonna be playing against the 11 and 6 Buffalo Bills in the wild card round. We also have the Dolphins against the Browns, the Colts against the Chargers, and then the Ravens had a first round bye week. We actually ended up beating the Bills 35 to 26, moving on to the divisional round against the 11 and 6 Miami Dolphins. The Dolphins just beat the Browns 24 to 21. And on the other side, we have the Ravens against the Chargers. Unfortunately, we ended up losing to the Dolphins 38 to 28. The Ravens won, so it's going to be the Ravens Dolphins in the AFC Championship game. The Ravens beat the Commanders in the Super Bowl 21 to 7 to win their third Super Bowl, and Patrick Peterson's on the Ravens won Super Bowl MVP. Josh Allen won MVP of the regular season with the Bills. Seth Henry won Coach of the Year with the Texans. Cooper Cup and Aaron Donald won their regular Offensive and Defensive Player of the Year awards. Dalton Kincaid won Offensive Rookie of the Year with the Jaguars. Trenton Simpson won Defensive Rookie of the Year with the Texans. We have 70 million in cap space and there's not anybody that I want to bring back. We're going to move on to younger and better players, hopefully. This is what the team is looking like before free agency. Aaron Rodgers is down to star dev. He's still playing up to 85 overall. Jacobs jumped up to X Factor. That's great to see. Hutchinson has star dev. Adams still has X Factor 98 overall. We need a new center. Uh, Hernandez is actually right guard, not a center. And Waller's still a superstar with 84 overall. Defensively, Mozzie Smith had star dev and so did Miles Murphy. Tart is normal dev, 79 overall. De uh, Divine Diablo jumped up to star dev and Chandler Jones lost to star dev. He's regressing quickly. I looked into releasing him, but we're basically going to break even. So, I mean, we're going to save like 500000 on a $20 million contract. Just going to let him play out the last year of his deal. So try to see if we can find someone to replace him. Forbes is up to a 77 with normal dev. Pretty much don't need anything on the defense. I mean, we could always upgrade players. We could get like a true number one corner. Checking out the playbooks, I'm going to keep running the Kansas City offensive playbook. But on defense, I'm switching to Baltimore's 3-4 defense because our defense was trash last year. It was like 27th or 29th, I don't remember. Maybe 26th, but it was bad. Free agency, I got three of the best available players. We got defensive tackle Dexter Lawrence, 95 overall, 26 years old, and he started to have got him on a four-year deal. Chris Lindstrom at right guard, he's a 92 overall, started to have scheme fit, 27 years old, got him on a three-year deal. And then I got the best available cornerback, AJ Terrell, 
89 overall, 25 years old with superstar dev, four year deal with them too. Here in the second round of the draft, we do not have a first round pick since we traded it to get Aaron Rodgers. I'm going to draft this tight end, Dante Matthews from Texas. He's 6'3", 257 pounds. He's a vertical threat. It looks like he's too good to pass up this deep in the second round. I know we have Darren Waller, but if we can find someone that is young and has hidden dev, maybe we can trade Darren Waller away to get another position that we need. This guy is 21 years old. Good acceleration, good agility, good change of direction, great speed with elite strength. We know for sure that he has A catching and he has a chance to have A in a lot of different stuff. He has hidden dead with 85 speed. Nice. Hopefully he has a decent overall. Third round, I'm going to draft this strong safety Montrell Tart from LSU. He's 6'2", 215 pounds. He's a run support scheme fit. 21 years old. He doesn't look like a great athlete. He has decent in most of his stuff. And then he has solid speed with good strength. But this is what's crazy though. It says that he has the fastest 40 yard dash of all the safeties. In his combine and his pro day. This right here is where you want to pay attention to where it says the ratings for the speed is solid. Just because it says he's the fastest safety of his class doesn't mean that he's going to be fast. There could be another safety that has like the third best 40, but his speed says great or good and he's going to be faster than this guy, which is crazy. So you want to pay attention to the ratings. So that he, I bet you he's probably going to have a speed between like 86 to 89 maybe. I'm just guessing. He has hit in there with 88 speed, yep. so between 86 to 89. Fourth round, I'm going to draft this left tackle, Adonis McPherson from Temple. He's 6'4", 329 pounds. He's a power scheme fit. Basically taking a chance on him. He's 21 years old. Doesn't look like he's an amazing athlete, but he does have great change of direction with good strength. Normal dead with 88 strength. Here in the fifth round, I'm going to draft this outside linebacker, Luke Walker from Iowa. He's 6'3", 241 pounds. He's a run stopper. He has a chance to have A in his pursuit and tackle. So that's what's sticking out to me. He's 23 years old. Also, he has elite acceleration with great speed. B zone coverage, B hit power. No more dead with 85 speed. Checking out the draft recap, the tight end I drafted in the second round is a 73 overall. That's really not too bad. We saw he had 85 speed. He has hidden dev. He's 21 years old. He has 85 catching, 76 catching traffic. So I'm just, I'm just going to leave him as a backup for this season behind Darren Waller. Maybe we can try to upgrade him to starter next season or something. The rest of the guys, they're all 67, 68. Checking out the entire NFL draft recap. Number one pick was a 77 overall defensive end that went to the Saints. Highest in the whole class was a 79 wide receiver in the sixth round. What the heck? That went to the Buccaneers. He has hidden dev, 22 years old, 90 speed, 92 acceleration, 86 catching, 84 catching traffic, 89 short route. 97 agility with 84 jumping 97 change of direction 92 juke dang this dude's freaking beastly how the heck did he fall all the way to the sixth round i've done probably around 65 year rebuilds here on madden 23 since it came out and this is the first time i've ever seen a sixth round pick being the highest overall in the class and he's a 79 in a row so yeah that's freaking crazy this is what the team is looking like for the start of season two aaron Rodgers is down to 83 star dev Jacobs is a 99 X-Factor, Adams a 97 X-Factor, Hutchinson at star dev, Renfro is 83 with star, we brought in Lindstrom at right guard but I moved him to center, offensive line is slowly getting a little bit better, we got Waller 83 superstar and then Matthews behind him, 73 with hidden dev, maybe he'll become the starter next year. Defensively, we brought in Dexter Lawrence at defensive tackle so I moved Mozzie Smith to defensive end and then I bumped Miles Murphy up to be our pass rushing outside linebacker over top of Chandler Jones because he's like 35 years old and he fell off hardcore. We got Diablo and Edwards at middle linebacker. Amos at strong safety. Mo Rig at free safety. Brought in Terrell at cornerback. He's a 90 with superstar. So we got Hobbs and Rocky Sin. The midseason point, we are first in the division with the four and two record. Chiefs are four and three. And then the Chargers and Broncos are both three and four. See what players that we have to negotiate with. We got only 23 million in cap space. Adrian Amos, I'm probably gonna end up moving on from him. He's 31 years old, so he's gonna start falling off quickly. Hunter Renfro, I'm gonna wait till the end of the season on him. He's 28. Mo Rig, I definitely want to bring him back. He wants a three-year deal for about 18 mil. He's coming back. Who else? We got Nate Hobbs. Yeah, I want to bring him back. 25 years old, 81 overall with star dev. He wants a four-year deal for 26 mil, but he, at the same time, he has like zero interest, so let's bump him up to a six-year deal. 
And he signed. Only got nine million left. Rocky Sin. He only wants a one year deal for five point eight. I think I'm just gonna let him walk. We're gonna have to be careful with our money now. Tart probably moving on from him. Hernandez, I'm gonna wait till the end of the year and see. Dang, Diablo, let's go ahead and try to bring him back. Doesn't have a lot of interest, so I'm gonna bump him up to let's go four year deal. He's coming back, so now we basically have no money for real. And that's gonna be it. End of the regular season, we finished 11 and 6, and we won our division. The Chiefs went 10 and 7, the Chargers went 9 and 8, and the Broncos went 7 and 10. See what happened with the player stats for the season. We had the first ranked offense, freaking awesome. Aaron Rodgers out here balling out. Defensively 17th, so defense is getting better. Aaron Rodgers threw for 4,700 yards, 40 touchdowns, only 8 interceptions, 70% completion with a 118 rating. It's definitely an MVP type season right there. Josh Jacobs had 1,500 yards, 5.7 per carry with 17 touchdowns. Freaking awesome. Devontae Adams, 1,400 yards, 17 touchdowns. Darren Waller, 1,100 yards, 3 touchdowns. Hunter Renfro, 900 yards, 8 touchdowns. Hutchinson, 700 yards, 5 touchdowns. TJ Edwards led the team in tackles with 126. Devon Diablo had 118. Max Crosby and Tart both had 14 TFLs. Max Crosby led the team in sacks with 15 and a half, and Miles Murphy got 10 and a half. Awesome. Dexter Lawrence had seven. Trayvon Morig led the team in interceptions with three. Diablo had two. Amos had two. Crosby, Yasin, Ransom, and Daniels had one. We're gonna be playing against division rival Chargers in the first round of the wild card. Nine and eight is what they went on the season. We also have the Browns against the Dolphins, the Jaguars against the Chiefs, and then the Bills had a first round bye week. We beat the Chargers in a close game, 42 to 35, going on to the divisional round against the 10 and seven Kansas City Chiefs, another rival. See, they just beat the Jaguars 48 to 20. On the other side, we have the Bills versus the Dolphins. Looks familiar. We ended up beating the Chiefs pretty bad, 38 to 14. We're going to the AFC Conference Championship game against the nine and eight Miami Dolphins. Let's see what they did in the regular season. They started as a six seed. They beat the Browns 31 to 23. Then they knocked off the Bills 31 to 24. On the other side, we have the Commanders against the Falcons in the NFC Championship game. Playing in Las Vegas AFC Championship game, we're down 7-0 in the first. Now we tied it up. Down 10 to 7, now we're down 17 to 7. 17 to 14 in the second quarter, we're losing by three. Third quarter, we're still down by three. Now we're down by six, 20 to 14. Now we can't take the lead in the fourth quarter by one. Now we're up 24 to 20 in the fourth. Now we're losing 27 to 24. Now we're down by 10 in the fourth. Dang, now we're getting blown out. We lost 37 to 24. Checking out the player stats from that game. Apparently Gardner Minshew, is a freaking baller out here at quarterback. He had a 126 rating, 345 yards, and four touchdowns in that game. And Aaron Rodgers had the worst game, 45 rating, 191 yards passing, one touchdown with three interceptions. What the heck, man? How's Minshew out here doing all this? <laughs> Decided to check out Gardner Minshew's season stats. He threw for 4,700 yards, 38 touchdowns, only nine interceptions with a 65% completion and a 108 rating. Dude had an amazing season for real for someone that's only a 72 overall, 28 years old. The Falcons beat the Dolphins in the Super Bowl 31 to seven to win their first ever Super Bowl and their quarterback Lamar Jackson won MVP of the Super Bowl. Josh Allen won MVP of the regular season with the Bills. Ron Rivera won coach of the year with the Commanders. Cooper Cup won offensive player of the year with the Rams. Bob Miller won defensive player of the year with the Bills. Also, just realized down there, Offensive Rookie of the Year is a Packers quarterback, Kalen Horn. Looks like they got them Aaron Rodgers replacement. We only have 18 million in cap space, so I'm gonna try to stretch it out the best that I can. I'm not gonna bring Hunter Renfro back. I plan on drafting a wide receiver. I've been scouting him heavily, expecting Hunter Renfro to leave. Adrian Amos, I do wanna try to bring him back. He's 32 years old, 82 overall. I don't wanna give him a two year deal though. I wanna give him just a one year deal. Let's see what happens. Oh, he, took, he signed it. Nice. Wasn't expecting that. Who else we got? Rocky Sin. I am interested in bringing him back. Let's see who else we have. I'm not bringing Tart back. Will Hernandez. He only wants a $4.95 million deal. And he has, he has some decent interest, so let's lower it down just a little bit and see if he signs. All right, he's coming back. We got 6.6 .6 mil. Is that enough to bring 
your send back. Yeah, he only wants a 5.1 mil. Well, he doesn't have a lot of interest though, so let's bump it up. He's coming back. All right, we're tapped out. 900 grand left. We basically have no cap space left, and I'm looking at the team's salaries. Darren Waller is 32 years old. He's down to 82 overall. Still has two years left on his deal. But if we move on from him, we're going to save 10 million. So I'm going to try to trade him and see if we can get some draft picks in return for him and just go ahead and switch over to the other tight end that we drafted. He's a 75 overall, and I think he has star dev. 22 years old and he's on a rookie deal so it'll be really cheap yeah yeah start to the washington commanders are willing to give us Jahan dotson at wide receiver he's 82 overall he's 25 years old and he's going to be on the last year of his rookie deal we do need another wide receiver since we're losing uh hunter renfro and this gives us a cheap replacement here and then maybe next year we have enough money to where we can bring Jahan dotson back if we feel like it this is what the team is looking like before free agency. Aaron Rodgers is down to normal dev. He's technically 80 overall, but he is playing up to an 82 overall. Let's see what his ratings are looking like. Still has 88 throw power. I mean, he still looks pretty decent. He's starting to lose some arm strength, but he's like 42 years old or something now. So, <laughs> rest of the team on the offense, I think we're good on offense completely. The offensive line is looking pretty decent. We just got Dotson at wide receiver. We still have Hutchinson and Devontae Adams. Matthews is going to be taking over at tight end for Darren Waller. Defensively, we need a defensive end, a big guy for a 3-4 defensive end. Mo Rig went up to superstar Deb. Awesome. Murphy is 83. Diablo is 77. Evers 88. Crosby is a 99 X-Factor. I think the only thing that we need on defense is, like I said, a defensive end. Maybe another cornerback that's a little bit better, but we're pretty much loaded at corner. We only had a little over $9 million in free agency, so I'm only going to be able to bring in this defensive end, Dedrick Wise, on a one-year deal. He's a 78 overall scheme fit with normal dev, 31 years old, so it's just going to be a one-year thing. Here in the first round of the draft, we have pick number 29, and I'm going to draft the strong safety, Tevin Hicks from TCU. He's 5'11", 212 pounds, run support, scheme fit, 22 years old. He has decent acceleration and agility with good speed. But he has A pursuit, A tackle, C zone coverage, man coverage is a C as well. He has hidden depth with 89 speed, nice. Here in the second round, I'm going to draft this right guard, Bradley Clemens from South Carolina. He is 6'5", 320 pounds. He's an agile guy, which is not a scheme fit for our offensive line. We, we need power guys, but this guy looks like he might be able to transition to it. 22 years old and he's freaking huge. We saw he's 320 pounds, so... Great acceleration, great agility, elite change of direction with great jumping, solid speed, solid strength. He had a hidden dead with 86 strength. In the third round, I'm going to draft this right guard, Taylor Scott from USC. He's 6'3", 339 pounds. He's a power scheme fit. Only got him 50% scouted. 22 years old. He has great acceleration, good change of direction with decent speed and good strength. He has A impact block and A lead block. No more dead with 88 strength. Here in the fourth round, there's still three people on my favorites list. I only put them on there because I had them 100% scouted, so I knew what their true talent was. This wide receiver is projected to be day three, but his true talent is second to third round. I don't know about all that because he doesn't look, I mean, he looks like he's a good athlete. He's 5'10", 176 pounds, deep threat from West Georgia, 22 years old. He has an elite acceleration, good agility, great jumping with great speed. So he's like really fast, but it doesn't look like he can catch worth the crap. But I'm going to go ahead and draft him. Normal dead with 94 speed. Fifth round, I'm going to draft this running back, Antoine Smith from Ferris State. Never heard of that before. Six foot, 222 pounds. He's a power back scheme fit. 22 years old. He has decent acceleration. Poor change of direction, but he has good speed and good strength. Normal dead with 91 speed, 77 strength. First round pick, safety, Tevin Hicks. 73 overall he's 89 speed we just he has hidden dev he has 70 zone coverage 75 speed 84 pursuit 67 man coverage so it's gonna be a backup for this year but he'll probably take over as a starter next year second round pick clemens the right guard is 72 overall he had hidden dev as well third round pick right guard is only a 65 overall so that's terrible but the fourth round pick wide receiver that we drafted it's the one i said that it said that he was a true second and third rounder it's actually a 72 overall. He only had normal dev. 
but the thing that I see is that he cannot run routes. He has a 68 short route, 67 medium route. He can go deep though, 75 deep route. 94 speed, I guess that he'll be going deep a lot. <laughs> Checking out the entire NFL draft recap, the number one pick was a tight end that was 78 overall that went to the Buccaneers. And he was the highest in the draft along with the cornerback that went to the Chargers in the first round. This is a starting lineup for the third season. Aaron Rodgers is down to 80 overall. He has normal dev. He's 41 years old. He still has 88 throw power. So at least he still has a little bit of strength in his throwing arm. Josh Jacobs is a 99 X factor. Adams is a 97 X factor. Hutchinson's a 77. Dotson's a 84 with star. Matthews is a 76 with star dev. I'm actually going to make Clemens the starter over Parham at left guard since he has hidden dev. I'm going to trade Parham away. Defensively, brought in Dedrick Wise at defensive end spot. He's an 80 with normal dev. So I got Terrell, Yosin, and Hobbs at the corners. Mo Riggs, 83 with superstar. Amos is probably on his last year. He's 83 overall with star. And then Hicks might be taking over for him next year. Miles Murphy's an 82. Crosby's a 99. Edwards is an 87. And Diablo is a 77. Trading that left guard Parham to the Bengals for a third round draft pick. Here at the midseason point, we are 6-1, leading the division once again off to a great start. The Chiefs are 4-3, the Chargers are 3-4, and, and the Broncos are 2-5. and five. See what players we have to negotiate with. We got $49 million in cap space. Colton Miller, AJ Cole, Daniel Carlson, Amos. Alright, so let's definitely start with Colton Miller. He has a lot of interest in coming back. He wants a three-year deal for about $56 million. He's coming back. We got $32 million left. AJ Cole the punter, we'll go ahead and try to bring him back. He's coming back. Daniel Carlson, 30 years old, 84 overall. Definitely want to bring him back. He wants more years. Psh, this guy. Amos, I'm going to be moving on from him most likely. Terrence still, 28 years old, 82 overall. Do want to bring him back, but I'm wait till the end of the year. See if he regresses or progresses. Same thing with Rocky Sin and Will Hernandez. End of the regular season, we had our best season yet. We went 14 and three, won the division, and got a first round bye week. The Chiefs went 11 and six, the Broncos went six and 11, and the Chargers went five and 12. Check out the player stats from the season. We had the seventh ranked offense, like it, definitely. Defensively, number 13, so defense is slowly and steadily getting better. Aaron Rodgers threw for 4,400 yards, 42 touchdowns, only 12 interceptions, 69% completion with the 111 rating. Great production from him for sure. Josh Jacobs ran for 1,600 yards, 5.6 per carry with 14 touchdowns. Dude's just a freaking beast. Devontae Adams, 1,400 yards receiving with 15 touchdowns. Dante Matthews, the backup tight end that took over as a starter, had almost 900 yards, 8 touchdowns. Dotson had 600 yards, 3 touchdowns. Jacobs, 500 yards, 3 touchdowns. Hutchinson, 500 yards, 7 touchdowns. Defensively, TJ Edwards led the team in tackles with 118. Dexter Lawrence had 16 TFLs. Max Crosby led the team in sacks with 13 and a half. Dexter Lawrence had 12 and a half. Awesome. Miles Murphy had six. TJ Edwards had four interceptions. Nate Hobbs had three. And then Yosin, Diablo, Amos, and Ter Terrell had two interceptions. Mo Rigg and Forbes both had one. We're gonna be playing against the nine and eight Miami Dolphins in the divisional round of the playoffs. They started out as a seven seed and they beat the number two seed Ravens. On the other side, we have the Titans against the Chiefs. We did beat the Dolphins 28 to 21. Now in the AFC Conference Championship game, we're gonna be playing against division rival Kansas City Chiefs. They went 11 and six on the year. They started out as a five seed. They beat the Patriots 38 to 14. Then they beat the Titans 37 to 27. I wanna check out this Dolphins game real quick and see if Gardner Minshew is still the quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> but uh, this time Aaron Rodgers was able to get the win over him. AFC Championship game in Las Vegas. We're down 7-0. Now we tied at 7-0 in the first. Now we're losing 10-7 in the second. Tied 10-10 in the second. Third quarter still tied 10-10. Now we're down 17-10. Now it's 17-13. Fourth quarter we're losing by 7. Now we tied it up 20 all in the fourth. Kansas City takes the lead 27-20. And what happened? We lost. And we lost the freaking game. 
Checking out the player stats from that game, Aaron Rodgers actually had a pretty good game, a 107 rating, 367 yards passing with two touchdowns and no picks. Patrick Mahomes had a decent game, 103 rating, 315 yards, one touchdown, no picks. So we have back-to-back -back AFC Championship appearances, lost them both times. The Cowboys beat the Chiefs in the Super Bowl 40-34 to to win their sixth Super Bowl, and Greg Rousseau won Super Bowl MVP. Lamar Jackson won MVP of the regular season with the Falcons. Romero Gallo won Coach of the Year with the Vikings. Cooper Cup won Offensive Player of the Year. Miles Garrett won Defensive Player of the Year with the Browns. Just checked out the retirements. Aaron Rodgers still has not retired yet, so we're going to keep going. Cap room, we have $23 million. I want to try to bring Daniel Carlson back, the kicker. Offered him a two-year deal and he turned it down, but offered him the same one and here he is coming back. I do want to bring Terrence Steele back. He's 29 years old. He's still 82 overall scheme fit with normal dev. He has some interest, but not a lot. I guess I'm going to offer him a three-year deal. He's coming back. Nice. All right, we got nine million left. Adrian Amos is done. Rocky Sands probably done. Will Hernandez. Do we want to bring him back? He's pretty cheap for a starter. He's 79 overall. Go ahead and offer him this deal. All right, he's coming back. We only got four million left, so that's it. This is what the team is looking like before free agency. Aaron Rodgers is technically uh, what 76 overall, playing up to a 79 with normal dev. We're good at running back. Wide receiver is good. Offensive line is good. Matthews at tight end is up to 82 with star dev. Defensively, we were pretty much set on defense as well. Hicks is a 76 with star dev. He's going to be taking over for Amos at free or strong safety is what I meant to say. Dexter Lawrence is a superstar dev. We do it in a defensive end. Could go with Forbes at cornerback three. We really don't have money for free agent uh, signing, so pretty much stuck with what we have. We only have $4 million in cap space, so I'm not going to be able to sign anyone in free agency. Here in the first round, we have pick number 30. I'm going to draft this cornerback, Bart McLeod from Miami. He's 6'3", 180 pounds. He's a man-to-man -man guy. I have him 100% scouted. He's a true first-round talent. 22 years old. He has elite agility, good change of direction with great speed. Know for sure that he has B-man coverage and C-zone coverage. He has hidden depth with 94 speed. Here in the second round, we do need another defensive end. I'm going to draft this defensive tackle, Wendell Trent from LSU. He's 6'3", 299 pounds. He's a power rusher. Only have him 50% scouted. He's 21 years old, but the thing that intrigues me about him is that he didn't go to the combine or the pro day. So maybe he'll end up being good. He has good agility, decent speed, solid strength. B power moves, C finesse moves. Only normal dev, dang. 84 strength. Third round, I'm going to draft this outside linebacker, Jonathan Beckham from San Diego State. He's six foot, 222 pounds. He's a pass coverage guy, 22 years old. He has great acceleration, great agility, great change of direction, great jumping, good speed. He's a hell of an athlete. I know for sure he has A tackle, A zone coverage, B man coverage, and he has uh, B pursuit. Only no more dev after all that, 82 speed. First round pick cornerback Bart McLeod is actually a 75 overall. That's great to see. We saw he had hidden dev. He's 22 years old, 94 speed, 73 man coverage, and 68 zone coverage. Defensive tackle drafted in the second round is only a 62. Dang, that's a bust for sure. Jonathan Beckham, the linebacker drafted, is only 70. We saw that he had normal dev. And then the computer drafted the rest of the guys. They drafted this running back in the third round. He's a 75 overall. He only has normal dev though, but he'll be a good backup. The rest of the guys aren't even worth mentioning. They're all in the 60s. Check out the entire NFL draft recap. Number one pick was a 79 cornerback that went to the Jaguars. Had my eye on this guy. He was a true top five pick. I had him 100% scouted. But I was, I was going to see if he was going to fall to like the second or third pick, but he didn't. So couldn't get him. And he was the highest in the whole draft. 78 overall tight end went in the third round to the Seahawks. Here's a starting lineup for the fourth season. Aaron Rodgers is down to a 77 overall with normal dev, 42 years old. He still has 88 throw power, and all of his accuracies are in the 80s. 91 throw on the run. He still has 80 speed. He ain't getting no slower, even though he keeps on getting older. All right. Jacobs is a 99 X factor. Devontae Adams is down here because he's injured for one week. Then we still got Jahan Dotson and Hutchinson. Offensive line is looking pretty good. Matthews at tight ends at 80 with star dev. Defensively, the biggest weakness we have is going to be Mayberry at the defensive end spot. He's only a 66 overall. We didn't have any money in free agency, so we really couldn't bring anyone in. 
And then we got McLeod, the cornerback, is going to be playing for us in the slot with Terrell's 92, a number one corner, and then Forbes, a 77 overall with normal Div. It's probably going to be like the worst defense that we've had, uh, say, probably in the last two years. Murphy's a 83 with star. Crosby's a 98 with X Factor. Edwards is a 84 with star. Diablo 77 with normal Div. Murray's is a 83 with superstar. And Hicks is a 76 with star. Here at the midseason point, we are four and three, tied for first with the Chiefs. The Broncos are three and four, and the Chargers are two and five. Let's see what players we have to negotiate with. We got 149 million in cap space. Does that mean that we have Aaron Rodgers over here? Yeah, he's probably gonna retire after this year. Max Crosby, 98 overall X factor. Definitely want to bring him back, but he has like zero interest. Just offered him a crap ton of money. He's like, I can find a better team. Devontae Adams, 33 years old, 95 overall with X Factor. He has zero interest in coming back as well. Yeah, offered him a lot of money and he's like, nope. Chris Lynchum actually does want to come back and I do want to bring him back for sure. Offered him a four year deal and he accepted it. TJ Edwards, I'm going to wait till the end of the year. He's 30 years old, so he's going to start regressing some. Jahan Dotson, that's not bad. Two years, 19 million for a receiver that's 84 overall. Well, he doesn't have a lot of interest, so I'm going to bump him up to a three-year deal. Yeah, he said he could find a better team in free agency. The rest of these guys, I'm probably just going to wait till the end of the year. Aaron Rodgers, I'm not sure if he's going to come back or not, but I'm going to wait till the end of the year and see if he retires. End of the regular season, we finished 13-4, and four, won the division yet again, and we got a first-round bye week yet again. The Chiefs went 12-5, and five, the Chargers went 7-10, and 10, and the Broncos went 6-11. and 11. See what happened with the player stats over here. We have the number two ranked offense. Aaron Rodgers still shelling out gems. Defensively ranked number four, so this might be the best team that we had so far. Aaron Rodgers almost 4,900 yards, 44 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, 64% completion with the 111 passer rating. Freaking awesome. Josh Jacobs, 1,500 yards rushing, 6.1 per carry with 17 touchdowns. The rookie running back to computer drafted had 300 yards rushing, four yards per carry with five touchdowns. Devontae Adams, 1,600 yards with 19 touchdowns. Matthews, 1,000 yards with 5 touchdowns. Dotson, 700 yards, 4 touchdowns. And Hutchinson at 700 yards with 8 touchdowns. TJ Edwards led the team in tackles with 95. Miles Murphy had 13 TFLs. Max Crosby had 13 sacks. Dexter Lawrence had 8.5. Murphy had 6. And Mozzie Smith had 4. And we got a lot of interceptions. Edwards had 4. Emmanuel Forbes had four, Mo Rig had four, Hobbs had three, Diablo had two, Terrell had two. Simulated to the divisional round, we're going to be going against the eight and nine Houston Texans. See what's going on over here. They were number six seed. They beat the Colts 27 to 14. On the other side, we have the Bengals against the Dolphins. Unfortunately, somehow we ended up losing to the Texans 30 to 25. See what happened to stats here. They got Bryce Young on their team. He had a 113 passer rating, 311 yards, one touchdown. Rodgers had a good game still, almost a 109 rating, 352 yards, two touchdowns. Josh Jacobs did not do so great running the ball. He only had a 2.9 per carry. Tight end Matthews went off. He had 121 yards. Hutchinson had a touchdown. Dotson, Jacobs. Where is Devontae Adams? He only had two catches for 14 yards. They were probably like triple teaming the crap out of him. <laughs> We just saw the Super Bowl two years ago on here. Was it 2024? Yeah, the Falcons beat the Dolphins 31 to seven. Well, here in 2026, the Falcons beat the Dolphins 42 to 17 to win their second Super Bowl, and Lamar Jackson won his second Super Bowl MVP, and he won MVP of the regular season with the Falcons. Lamar Jackson, Arthur Smith won Coach of the Year with the Falcons. Cooper Cup won Offensive Player of the Year with the Rams. Josh Allen won Defensive Player of the Year with the Jaguars. After 22 years in the NFL, quarterback Aaron Rodgers decided to finally retire and hang up his pads and cleats. Aaron Rodgers finishes with the third most passing yards in NFL history, 77,000, only below Drew Brees and Tom Brady. Passing touchdowns, he came in second to Tom Brady, only by 11 though, but I don't know if Tom Brady has retired yet or not in this game. He could still be going for all we know. See if there's any season records owned by Aaron Rodgers. Nope. Not on passing yards anyways. Any passing touchdowns on by him? Right here, he had 48 passing touchdowns in 2020. And then in 2011, he had 45. But none recently. 
Lamar Jackson had 47 of them in 2026 with the Falcons. And apparently the Falcons need to sign Lamar Jackson ASAP. <laughs> See about one uh, one game records here. Ain't nobody on here. Well, Aaron Rodgers ain't on here. Joe Burrow had 525 in 2021. Passing touchdowns in one season. These are all from the 60s. And then we finally get down here. Huntley and Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence plays for the Patriots. Tyler Huntley with the Broncos had seven passing touchdowns in 2025. <laughs> Looking at the legacy leaderboard, Aaron Rodgers has the most. He's number one, 39,888. He got 5,300 on this current season. Tom Brady's in second. Apparently he retired because he's already in the Hall of Fame. 36,000, but Aaron Rodgers had one Super Bowl, one championship, and he had 17 yearly awards. He's down to a 73 overall at the age of 43. Still has 88 throw power though. See what his uh, season stats were looking like. The four years that he was with the Raiders, he actually did pretty freaking good. I'm not going to lie. Like this season, I thought he was going to win MVP for sure, but he didn't. We had a 107 rating, 118, 111, 111. Threw for over 40 touchdowns every time except for the first year that he came. So it looks like the Raiders should definitely sign him. Or try to trade for him or something because he took him to what was it two straight AFC championship games lost both of them but still made it there that's gonna be it for the video if y'all like what y'all saw please subscribe to the channel hit the like button make some suggestions down in the comments below of other types of rebuilds that you would like to see I appreciate everyone for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one peace